Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Game five for the Phillies. Tell my audience about what we're seeing here today. What is this all about? Well, I left. I'm, I love New York City, obviously. We all love New York City, but there's a time and place when you got to say to yourself, "Let me just go away for a bit and see how important this place is." So I left for a, a little bit of time. I live down the street, obviously, and, and I, for the first time in my life, I've been trying to make these prints for about ten years. Every year, I go, "I'm going to make a set of prints. I'm going to make a set of prints." And I finally did it. And everything really isn't what you expect or what you think it's going to be. I and know. 
they're a bit of, of a surprise, but I actually like the outcome. I worked with a guy in Boston named Eitan Shapira. He's from he's from uh, um, he's from Israel, and he's brilliant. He's an incredible artist and painter, but he's also a master, master, master printmaker. He worked with Ken Tyler in in London, who. If you're an artist, you know who Ken Tyler is. He printed Warhol and, and Motherwell and Helen Frankenthaler. And he's now about 80, and Aton worked directly with him in London and learned how to print. And it's an old, you know, with digital you know, technology, it's an old um, medium. You know, Lichtenstein, you know, Ellsworth Kelly, all these guys were using this as a medium. Everybody uses it. But I wanted to try to stay traditional and do something clean so obviously, you know, it's a marketing thing in a way because people can then afford, you know, something that you're doing that is very new to me. So it's kind of exciting, but it's also not as bad. You're, you're at, let me get this right. You have been always an artist that has been commissioned to do fabulous artwork for many favorite, famous celebrities. Am I right about that? I guess we never, I don't consider myself a celebrity. I'm not sure the people I paint do either. I think what's interesting is, you know, you get you get lucky that some people like what you do. And yeah, I, you know, I painted, well, I think one of the most difficult paintings I ever made was President Clinton. Yes, I was telling my friend that, because, President you know, Clinton. I don't, it never really hit me that I, you know, I was painting the president. And then they called and go, is the painting ready? And I go, yeah, but I didn't even start. And I had two days to finish this thing. And I made a giant eight-foot piece. I was working on it so hard, the nose got ripped. And here I am thinking, wow, man, I'm painting like the President of the United States for them. And I don't, you know, I don't really know him or anything. You know, I met him briefly, like everybody. And, uh, and apparently, you know, he, they kind of came to me and said, we really like what you're doing. Would you consider making this, this portrait for this library down in Arkansas? And I was supposed to go down. I wanted to take my mom. And uh, I broke my toe the day I was supposed to go. So you didn't get to meet, I mean, you didn't get to... I didn't uh, get to go to the library. It was raining that day, and I was in bed crying because I had a broken toe. But, um, but you know, making the painting was, uh, you know, a, a, kind of an honor. And then I did Bush, and, you know, the whole country was against this guy, even my friends, you know, whatever. Not against him, but I... But it's I art, look, darling. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't look at it that way. I just yeah, thought, it's hey, art. It's, it's art. It's another opportunity to, to you know, use what you do, what you care, like I care about, it. that's what I care about. And you Paint. also did uh, a, a very famous movie star. Which one? Which one? I love you. Which one? The, that guy that did the movie about um, about the old star. What, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Schwarzenegger? Do you, you painted Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, yeah, like three, four times. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm in touch with Maria. Well, I, it's sad, but Arnold and Maria, I mean, uh, yes. Maria's been very supportive. And Arnold and I had a really good relationship bef before he became governor. But the paintings I made of Arnold were in 1992. And they were on these barn doors, and I was trying to sell them to him for a long time. And then Shaquille O'Neal bought one of the paintings, and then Arnold contacted me right away. He's like, I want to see what you're doing. And I had these paintings of him as an American hero. I named an American hero. And then he became governor. It's really a trippy... And maybe president. Who knows? Right? John McDonald. Yeah, but there was, wasn't there also... There was another actor. Hello. What an adorable baby. Yes, this is Arnie Zimmerman's little baby. How cute. That's Arnie right there. So blonde. He's as blonde as me. See, Arnie... It's about all the famous people that you have painted throughout the years. Well, I haven't painted myself yet. I'm working on that. All the famous people. And I was going to shave today. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, you know, I look at fame as kind of like people trying to do things. And I mean, I painted a lot of people that are well known, but really it was about being this big. When you're this big, and then you become a, um, you know, of a, a person trying to do something, you know, and all this fame's attached to you. I think that's what our society's kind of become. So I was kind of not utilizing, but I was kind of interested in who these people were before they became Michael Jordan or President Lincoln or Audrey Hepburn. I mean, she was a saint before saints existed in this country. I mean, she went to Africa and was doing things when it wasn't trendy. I would think that she probably is, to me, the most famous person that you have painted. I mean, I never met her.
other love her, my mom over there. And, and she's she, probably the most, I think and, and she And you watch her films, you're like, wow, this was a star. This was an actress. And, uh, you know, that kind of respect. So it's really, I try to like give these people respect, and I know that image has been used over and over and over. So how do you make an image, how do you get attention for painting something, and then have an image, and so many people have done it, and how do you single yourself out? as being an interesting, I think it's, painting has to be about the application and not about just the content. So in a way, in a way I'm step, using them as a stepping stone to get attention for what I'm doing, but when Van Gogh was painting these people, you never go, oh, what, who was that that he was painting? Like Dr. Cachet or whatever, you know what I mean? I so agree, I think he does too. She. She, she, tell my audience what's next for William Quigley. Maybe your portrait coming up. <laughs> yeah, that could work. That could work. You know, I don't really know. And we, how long is this going to be up I hope here? I sell out all my prints tonight. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Where can we go to look at these prints? Tell They're my right audience. Here. We're at Click Gallery. Click probably, Gallery. Probably the best threat to Chelsea in the world. Right here in Christian, Chelsea. Christian and Antoine, I mean, they have the best. And it's going it's to a be, compliment. They have the best artists, the best photographers in the world here. And these are going to be shown here until when? Until they're all sold? The fact that I'm even in the same gallery with Antoine Vargas is a real unbelievable compliment. I mean, that, that guy's a legend. And his wife's a legend. And this is a great place. And this is what New York really is all about to me. You know, this place is like, Christian, I mean, she's got such passion for art and for people. That, that's what New York used to be about. It, it, now, you know, the markets and everything, you go to the galleries in Chelsea and, you know, everyone's trying to sell these million dollar pieces and there's only one person who can buy it. Like, you know, it's all good, but... What's the website? Here, clickgallery.com. And your website? Quigleyart.com. <laughs> and Scrapper. Okay. Scrapper, right here. Give me a kiss, though. Thank you. Thank you, Cognac. Right here at Click Gallery and Champagne Kisses. Fallacy dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.